Welcome to AppChasers.com. Today I want to show you another neat feature of iOS 8, and that's app extensions. Previously, on the iPhone and on the iPad, two different apps couldn't talk to each other, which means that they couldn't send or share information from one app to another. But now with iOS 8, through app extensions, you can do this. It's all possible. The way you want to get into this is by first installing apps that have extensions from the App Store. A couple of uh, examples of this would be uh, Evernote. So let's look up Evernote here. There it is on the App Store. Now Evernote can use extensions to share information from one app into Evernote. Another one that we'll look at is called 1Password. Here it is on the App Store. This also allows you to log into websites using information stored in one password uh, to put in your credentials, maybe in Safari or another app that allows one password extensions. I'll show you what that what I mean by all this by going into Safari. And uh, here we have Meekspace open. So we've got Meekspace here and we want to go into our share feature here down at the bottom. Now that was the a little box with the arrow pointing up. We bring that up and it looks pretty familiar. Um, you may have been using this before to share a website uh, via email or via iMessage. But now we can use this new extension area here at the bottom where you can use credentials and features of other apps. So for example, I have one password down here. Now if I touch on that, It'll bring up one password right away where I can unlock it with Touch ID and then enter in my credentials here and then log in. So we just shared information that we already had stored in one password with Safari. Well, you can go the other way too and share and share uh, information, websites that you find interesting from Safari into other apps. This might come in handy when you're looking, for example, at JW.org and you want to share an article to maybe an online uh, storage service that you use personally um, for your own records. One would be Evernote. Well, you can do that now using the Evernote extension. I already have Evernote installed on my iPhone, the app Evernote, and I've already logged into Evernote. So now I can turn on the extension. To do that, go to your share sheet icon and simply tap the more button. Here we see all the apps that have extensions available listed, Evernote being one of them. So we'll enable the Evernote extension, hit done, and you can see Evernote is now available. We can touch that and share this website uh, to our personal Evernote uh, notebook. We can choose which notebook we want it to go into as well and hit save and that sends it right over to our Evernote account. You could also do this on Pinterest for example. I already have the Pinterest app installed and I now have the extension available. Just touch on that and it allows you to share an article with Pinterest and it allows you to scroll through the different images in the article so that you can choose which one you'd like to be the pin. Now, Pinterest would allow you to direct people to JW.org by sharing a link to an article. But a nice way that you can use extensions in Safari. Another app that allows you to use extensions is the Photos app. Here we are, we've got some different photos here. And uh, let's go ahead and use another app to edit one of these photos. So here's a photo that I already have taken with my iPhone. We can go into edit and we see the normal filters and different uh, color tweaking tools that are were available on iOS 7. But now we have this little button here. It's the circle with the three dots and it brings up the apps that we have ex installed that enable extensions. So we've got Scanner Pro, we've got Diptych, we've got Camera Plus. Diptych is a neat one that takes your photos and adds a map to them so you can see where the photo was taken and it does this automatically. We'll hit done there and it'll save that new picture to our camera roll. If we go back to our camera roll we can see that 
is enabled there. If we like uh, filters that are in other apps, we can use those now using iOS 8 extensions. Just click on this button here. We've got Camera Plus installed on our iPhone. This will allow the Camera Plus extension to run, and we can now change the filters per Camera Plus's tools. And we can hit Done, and now that'll save it to our library here. We hit Done again. So there we go. So that's how to use extensions within the Photos part of the Photos app. We can also enable extensions in video. So I've got a video here, and up in the upper right-hand corner is that familiar icon. Now we can enable different extensions here in the Photos app. I only have iMovie installed that'll allow extensions, so we'll choose iMovie, and now Without even opening the iMovie app, we've got many of the different features. We can add a caption or a title to the video. We can add music to the video from right within our music library. We can trim the video, and we can add different filters to the look of the video. So a lot of neat ways you can use app extensions, and those are all enabled right within the app you're using. This has been AppChasers.com.